Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 205. We're going to be going over the administration menu source module. But before we get started, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to head on over to codekarate.com. Get a free sticker if you haven't already. Check out other videos and posts like this one. And also look at our e-commerce course and our ebook. Okay, so what is the administration menu source module? Well, to know what this module is, you first need to be aware of the administration menu module, which the administration menu is this menu, as you can see up here. It provides an easy way to access all of your different administration links while creating or managing your Drupal website. So the administration menu source module makes it easy to change this menu for different roles. So as you build out more complex sites, you may have other roles that need to do some administrative or managerial tasks, but you don't want them to have full access to this menu, or maybe you just want to reorganize it so it's a little easier for them to find the things that are important for them. So this is going to be a really short video because this menu is extremely simple, or this module is extremely simple. So let's go ahead and take a look. Make sure it's installed. So if you look down here, the administration menu source module 7.x-1.0 is installed. And we're going to go ahead and click the configure link there. So all it is, is it lists the roles on your Drupal site and it allows you to specify what menu to use for that specific role. So in this case, let's take a look at the manager role and let's just change this to something else. So let's change this to main menu. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now if I pull over this window here where you can see I'm logged in as manager, this is the default menu that I had. If I refresh the page, you'll notice it changes. My main menu currently only has this home link since you can see this is where the main menu would typically be but you can see that it did change. So we can do other things such as add a new menu and we'll make this a menu called manager. We can add whatever links we would like here. So for instance if we wanted to just add a menu link for Google we can go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and save that there. We'll add another link just to, we'll just go ahead and add it to the home page. Now that we have these set, let's go ahead and go back into the configuration for the administration menu source module which you can get to by clicking the configure link. You can also come into configuration, administration, administration menu, source. So now we should find our manager menu here. So let's select that, save it. If we come back in as our manager, you'll notice now we have customized this menu to have a Google link, to have home, to our, which links back to our home page and you could of course add any any other links that this manager would be able to access so that's really all there is to it it's an extremely simple module it's really only useful when you have other types of roles that you want to provide quick access to links across your Drupal site so as I mentioned here maybe some type of manager role if you're doing some type of content publishing or if you have more of a, a fully built out uh, Drupal site and you have different roles that need to do different types of administration tasks, this module can work really well. So it's extremely simple. Give it a look. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com. Let me know if you have any other modules you would like to see. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.